everyone how are you doing there today my is fine here so today's the sunday earlier i just went for a little dinner outside and also have my hair cut because my hair is really long have been been cutting for a month plus at least so i just shaved the side and also the right just keep it the same and the fringe i uh, just basically trim a little the back is short now so the hair stylish i just say my hair is like very oil i i do know that so i used like this dandruff shampoo but they wash for me and i purchased one it's like for the oily hair and also dandruff and yeah because they say you have to like wash it a few times those dandruff until you, you you do not have any dandruff then you use back the regular shampoo because if you have like oily and uh, dandruff hair your in the process years your hair may start to drop uh, a little by little slowly it's as bad but anyway, in this video, I'd like to share about uh, the best methods, the best way that you can use to reduce high iron, high ferritin level using desperate infusions. So these are the methods I heard, this method I heard uh, that patient try and it's useful. Of course, there's a few ways that you can do. I'm now not on desperate, but in the past, I used some of the methods. Uh, but not this uh, method I want to emphasize on that so uh, this method is effectively if you want to reduce from like 10,000 I don't know uh, uh, ferritin level to like 2,000 in a short period of time uh, most patients what they will usually do to reduce their high iron level through dextra is to increase the number of days that is the most common one increase the number of days in other words you have more chelations, uh, so in other words, that will tremendously increase, and as well as uh, increase the doses, which uh, is according to your body weight. If it's reached the peak already, it can, can't go any further, four or five vowels uh, every transfusion for each day is the max already. Let's say four vowels is the max for your body weight, can't go any further, but the iron is still not, uh, still not reduced over the time as your iron is too high, it's, uh, it's built up over the years, uh, it's can uh, in the short amount of period reduce it down or your transmission need is too high and plus over the years it uh, accumulate even further so what are the third way that you can do that uh, a patient tell me is that du the duration of the dextra is longer, make it longer you know make it like 13 hours, your know, 12 or 13 hours the doctor actually recommends uh, the patient to infuse like 12 hours you know normal patient 8 to 10 hours normally the bed time is fine so 13 hours is is over the is cross over the line you know you have to like sleep very early at uh, one of the ways sleep very early get home early and do the desperate infusion then you do your thing then before you go to bed and the next morning you take up maybe uh, 8 8 p.m you have to do the that's true infusion and 9 p 9 a.m. if your life schedule allow you the 9 a.m. you take out that's infusion then you prepare for work if not you have to do it throughout the day you know having the dash from let's say in the morning then when before you sleep you take out but that will affect your daily activities uh, of course but there is a patient doing that if your life uh, schedule allows then uh, there's no problem with that but one uh, disadvantage of that is that it affects your lifestyle of course and the needle is like you doing your daily activities it will affect you can't bring to work or school you feel really uncomfortable throughout the day so uh, depend on your life schedule if it allowed uh, you can give it a try if you have like you're not going anywhere while wow, maybe you have holidays or what you can give it a try see how it works out I uh, would not recommend unless you are a uh, night time just do it uh, when you are reached home then the next morning you take up but I heard is uh, the patient from the ferritin of 5000 plus has reduced to like uh, above 2000 now which is a, a tremendous uh, amount of increase so just to share with you guys hope this helps and uh, if you have any experience on this uh, do share with me also and other uh, patient watching this so thanks for watching